This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, what are the steps to import into OBJ files and create a single tool? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and it just has Lightbox open by default, so I first just want to close this. So to close Lightbox, you can press comma on your keyboard, or you can navigate up here to the Lightbox button and simply click, and that will now close Lightbox. So the question is asking about importing in separate OBJ files and creating a single tool out of them. So this is a question that a lot of new users to ZBrush have. So I'm gonna go through the manual process first on how to import in separate OBJ files and combine them into one tool. And then I'll show a workflow using a plugin. So the first thing we wanna do after we have Lightbox closed here is we wanna start importing in our OBJ files. So I'm gonna navigate over here to the tool palette and I'm just gonna click this import button. Now when you click this import button, it's gonna open a file dialog. And in here, you can see I have two OBJ files. So I have Earthquake Body and Earthquake Kimono. So I'm first gonna come here and select one of these. So I'm gonna select Earthquake Body, and then I'm gonna click the Open button. Now after this loads, you'll see over in my tool palette here, I now have Earthquake's body loaded in. So with Earthquake selected in my tool palette, I can now come across my canvas here and click and drag, and this is going to draw out that tool in 2.5D mode. Now after this is drawn out on my canvas, I now need to go into edit mode. So you can go into edit mode by pressing T on your keyboard or activating the edit button here. Now after you activate the edit button, the last tool that you drew out on the canvas can now be translated in 3D. So as Earthquake was my tool that I last drew out, I'm now able to manipulate Earthquake here in 3D. So I can rotate around them, I can move them up and down, and zoom in and out. Now after I have Earthquake on my canvas here, I may want to change my material. So I'm going to come over here to this material area and open this up. And I'm just going to switch from this matte cap red wax to the matte cap gray material. So simply opening this and clicking on a new material, will now allow you to view the model in that material. So now you can see Earthquake is in matte cap gray, I am in edit mode, and I can rotate around him like so. So now that I have imported in Earthquake, I now wanna import in that second OBJ file, which was the kimono. If I just simply click this import button again, what's gonna happen is that ZBrush is going to look at the current tool I have selected. And when I click import, it's going to replace that current tool. So if I have Earthquake's body selected, and now I wanna import in that kimono by clicking import, and now selecting that kimono file, you'll see that on this second import, ZBrush is going to look at the current tool I have selected. It's going to import in that OBJ file, replacing the existing tool I had selected. So you can see now I have Earthquake's kimono loaded in, but I no longer have Earthquake's body. So I'm just gonna undo this quick by pressing Control Z to get Earthquake's body back. So one thing to remember before you import in a second OBJ into ZBrush is that you wanna select a blank tool. Now a blank tool can be something like the Simple Brush, the Sphere 3D, or even this PolyMesh 3D Star. So I'm just gonna come over here and select the PolyMesh 3D Star, and now I'm gonna come back to the tool palette and now click Import again. And now I'm gonna select that kimono, and when I click Open, this is now going to replace this PolyMesh 3D Star and not Earthquake's body. So this will now give me the result I'm looking for. So now I have a tool that consists of just Earthquake's body and a tool that consists of just Earthquake's kimono. So once again, you wanna make sure that when you are importing an OBJ file, you wanna make sure you select a blank object first, such as the PolyMesh 3D star, and then use the import option, or you're likely to replace the current tool you have selected. So just one little thing there when using the import function. So now that I have both of these tools loaded in, I wanna get them into a single tool. So I'm gonna go back over here and select Earthquake's tool here. I'm gonna open up my subtool palette here. And in here, you'll see I just have Earthquake in this tool. Now if I click on the kimono file, you'll see I just have the kimono in that tool. So I wanna take the tool with Earthquake's body and I wanna add the kimono to it. So after we have Earthquake's body selected, we go to the subtool palette here. And down here, we have an append button. So if I click this append button, it's going to open up this quick pick dialog here. And in here, I can now select the kimono. So this is going to select the kimono that's in that separate tool that I just imported in. And it's now going to append that kimono and it's going to generate that kimono now as a second subtool. 
So clicking this here, you'll see that now I have two subtools in my scene. I have Earthquake's body and then the kimono underneath it. You also notice that after this append has happened, you'll see that Earthquake's tool here now has a number two beside it. So this is just letting you know that Earthquake now has two subtools. So he has his body and then his kimono. So now after you have both of these tools in one file here, we can now come up here to the tool palette and use save as to save that out. Now an alternate function to import in multiple OBJs is to use the subtool master plugin. So as an example of this, I'm just going to restart ZBrush here. Now that I have ZBrush restarted, I just wanna close Lightbox again. So I press comma on my keyboard there. And now I'm gonna navigate over to the tool palette here. I'm gonna select this PolyMesh 3D object here. I'm gonna click and drag that out on the canvas. I'm gonna press T on my keyboard or click the edit button here to go into edit mode. And then I'm gonna change my matte cap again back to that matte cap gray. So now I just have a PolyMesh 3D star here in edit mode. And now I wanna import in those two OBJ files, but this time I'm going to use the Subtool Master plugin. So I'm gonna navigate up to the Z plugin tab here and open this up. I'm gonna open up the Subtool Master plugin here. And here we have a bunch of different options that we can use across subtools in our scene. And the one we're looking for to import is this multi-append. And so when you click this multi-append button, it's gonna open up that file dialog again. And in here, you can select multiple OBJs. So I'm gonna select both of these OBJs here. So I'm gonna click on one, hold control, and click on the other. And you have the ability with this plugin to import in as many OBJs as you like. So I'm just gonna import in both of these OBJs here. So if they're selected, just click open. And after you click this open button, it's going to automate the process that we just did. So it's gonna automatically come through, select a PolyMesh 3D object, and import in each OBJ, and then automate the appending. So just coming here and clicking open is going to now import in those OBJ files. And now in my tool palette over here, I'll have Earthquake. And if I open my subtool palette, you'll see that I have Earthquake's body and Earthquake's kimono already loaded in. So through that process, you can import in multiple OBJs instead of using the manual method. And that plugin, once again, is located in the Z plugin tab, and it's just subtool master and we just use the multi-append function. So that's the other way you can import in multiple OBJs into ZBrush and create a single tool out of it. So if you're happy with your tool, you can now save it out using the Save As option up here, and that will save the file and both subtools as a ZTL file, so you can load it into ZBrush later. So I hope that helps. If you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.